Hello, welcome to Pants Champor Transline Hobbies. Um, it's been a little while since I've done any updates or anything, about three months I think. So for the six people that possibly will watch it, there's a little update at the moment. Um, done lots of projects, actually done some painting and building. Um, had a go with the speed paints uh, to paint these marines I picked up at Warhammer Fest way back it was a while ago in Manchester, so just wanted to have a little go, see what I could do with them. I think just for someone like me that just wants to have something that you can paint, put on the tabletop, I think they look pretty cool. Especially the green, that really pops quite a lot. I think he just looks cool, with his angry face, ready to go into war. Um... Apart from that, not a lot else. Painted recently a miniature for a painting competition on Facebook. Um, sort of wanted to sort of kit bash him a bit. Um, it's a title, Last Stand. Uh, that's what I titled it, and it's basically a Marine facing off against a Tyranid. Um, yeah, so just, it's like the first born Space Marine uh, of an undisclosed chapter. Never really decided on a name for him or anything but just wanted to have a go and I think pretty much all done with speed paints once again it seems to be my go-to paint option just for my painting style um, had the Anomalia tiles set up to finally now have all these in place and doing things with them um, basically been having a go at painting river tiles the base undercoat. Um, I haven't actually got it here now, I think I threw it out. But I've been using AK uh, Diorama. Well, that's got to be backwards, isn't it? Put it on selfie camera mode. Anyway, been using the AK Diorama series and this experimented with the swamp green. Uh, it really does come out swamp green. Oh, there's still a bit dropping off. But bought these little tufts at my local gaming shop um, my local gaming shop is Jadlem but um, many many others out there of course but it's a great shop it's like an Aladdin's cave of everything so that is it I don't know whether to get some water highlights maybe make something I know you can get lots of water effects there's still bits dropping off or I need to do a bit more gluing and a bit more sticking with boulders um, as a straight section where I literally put some extra part bit of board came with it, so I stuck it down the middle, and then uh, PVA glued it, and then some gravel from the local store with these tufts I'd also bought. I think they look quite cool, very simple, maybe not warhammery, but it's a river going through my display, so that's the thing I've gone for. Um, and another one, I put some extra little bit of rock. This tree, I think my grandfather built. Uh, grandfather, my father-in-law built this. I do apologise. Um, yeah, once again, I still need to highlight the rocks, do some um, dry brushing, and then just PVA. Once again, so it does stick mostly, which is pretty good. But this is the state, and it will become a river on the uh, board eventually. But on the whole, other projects include still. The corn, Lord of Skulls, he's still an ongoing thing. I did, actually, I paint Cal Jericho. I did paint him. And I think this guy's called Scabs. So I painted them. Um, and that was pretty much all, once again, with speed paints. So I was quite pleased. It's just nice to have painted models, Ooh, hello, which I don't normally have because I don't have the best confidence, but I think it's done a great job. But speed paint, there's highlights I can put in with other paints I know to make them look a bit better. Um, but apart from that, I don't think I've done a lot else. So 
that's a little update. I know it's been a little while, so still many other projects to go. Hence all this behind me still. Loads of that to go. I did build um, other bits of scenery, and I will be showing um, this off soon. It was from the... Um, oh, crikey, is it from? It's from Wargame Exclusive. They were a company from Ukraine, and obviously with the uh, ongoing conflict in Ukraine, um, they couldn't ship miniatures or, you know, basically be a business because they couldn't export materials, everything, I'm guessing. Um, but it was lovely. I did have an order with them. I think they said, unfortunately, we couldn't fulfill it. Understandable, you know, my goodness, they got many things going on. But sent them a donation that would have been my purchase. And they sent me this lovely card in return, which is rather nice. If you want to read it, you can pause. If <laughs> And, you know, it was just nice. Got a bit of a Lionel Johnson sort of look. But I'm guessing this will be the miniature that is inside. So I will make that at some point and film that. So that's amazing. That's almost don't want to make it. I did buy myself um, a Rogal. Um, no, I forget what he's called now. Oh, dear, I can't remember. Ah! I've got actually the model of him here. You know. We got his big version, little version. Hello world! Ooh, ah, ah, ah. So yeah, we have him and the Joy Toy version. Hi. You alright? You alright? You alright? You look big. Yeah, I'm alright. Um, yeah, so it's that one. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I don't think anything else otherwise. Like I say, I still have many things to do. This was a miniature I bought from uh, We Print Miniatures. Oh, where am I going there? I am. Uh, see if you can guess who it is. The M41A Pulse Rifle might give it away, but he's a slight take on a. I don't think he was smoking. Was he smoking in the film? Yeah, possibly. I can't remember. Apart from that, I think that is sort of it. So, uh, hopefully, have an update sooner than I did last time. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.